I'm Ethan, I love muzzleloading. I wanted to give you a quick update on one of the latest muzzleloading supply scams that I'm seeing to make you aware and to make some of your friends out there that aware as we kind of head into the muzzleloading season for events and competition. As usual, the scammers are gonna have powder, primers, caps, everything that's been hard to find over the past couple of years, they're gonna have it in stock. They're gonna have everything you could ask for and they're gonna have it for pre-2019 prices. The deals are gonna be so good that you're gonna to wanna to place your order and get it in route as quickly as possible. You're gonna even notice that the shipping charges are super cheap, almost, you know, like wonderfully cheap, less than 10 bucks for an entire case of powder. But after you place your order, you're gonna get contacted by one of these scam vendors, and they're gonna tell you that they need a required shipping insurance fee in order to process your order. This shipping insurance fee is gonna range anywhere from $100 to $250 to make sure that your order gets out the door in time. These scammers aren't gonna tell you about this shipping insurance charge beforehand. They're only gonna to come to you after you've placed your order. After you've paid for your shipping insurance fee, they're gonna then come and inform you that you have to pay a $250 hazmat fee. And then after you've paid your shipping insurance charge and your hazmat fee, they're gonna contact you about a value added tax. And this is gonna be an additional $250 on top of the hazmat, shipping insurance, and your original order that you've placed. And the kicker to all these extra fees and services and taxes that they're talking to you about is that they want you to pay for them all with PayPal, friends, and family. Now, for those of you that have purchased things online for many years now, that whole rundown should give you a lot of red flags. There should be little alarm bells ringing <laughs> inside your head about things that aren't quite right here. I'm gonna break this down and break down this scam kind of line by line here to show you that they're using terms that are real and are legitimate, that legitimate businesses use to fool you into believing that what they're doing is legitimate. So first up, we have the shipping insurance fee. This is something that you can purchase you know, through a vendor like the Postal Service to add some insurance in case your package gets lost or busted up during shipment. Typically, when you order something and the vendor recommends shipping insurance, they're gonna offer that to you during the checkout process. I have never ever uh, purchased something through a legitimate business where shipping insurance was tacked on afterwards and was not discussed at all in the checkout process. Now, there are businesses out there that are gonna recommend adding shipping insurance and they're gonna offer it to you at a rate, usually the rate that it costs them to ship and, and purchase that insurance to make sure that nothing happens or you get reimbursed in case something happens during shipment. This is gonna be typical if you're ordering something small or fragile that can get lost or broken while being delivered. Again, it's not illegal or illegitimate to offer or recommend shipping insurance, but it's just rare that we see a legitimate business tack it on after you've placed your order without any notification of that being an option while you were checking out. Second is the hazmat fee. If you've ever ordered muzzleloading supplies, or in case you haven't, because of the nature of muzzleloading supplies, they are marked as hazardous materials. And that's where this hazmat fee comes in. So if you order something through one of the legitimate muzzleloading supply shops out there, especially like caps or powder and propellants, there's gonna be a mandatory hazmat fee tacked on to that order. Depending on how much you're ordering, Typically, the hazmat fee stays about the same. Generally, if you're a consumer, you're not gonna see a hazmat fee over 50 bucks. So with these scammers asking for a $250 hazmat fee after you've placed your order, uh, that should be a massive red flag for you. At every legitimate muzzleloading supply shop in business, if you're ordering something that requires a hazmat fee, they're gonna show that to you at checkout or they're gonna discuss it with you over the phone while you're ordering. Um, having it tacked on after you've placed your order and after you have you know, paid for it really um, is really rare and really uncommon. The third thing here is the VAT or value added tax. This is a big one um, and I can understand why it's confusing because the value added tax is only something we really see in the European Union. So if you're shipping something to Europe, you may have to pay that VAT tax or that value added tax 
on that item. There is no VAT or value added tax here in, in the United States. So if you're ordering something from somebody in the US and they're telling you that you have to pay a value added tax, you need to stop right there because there is no valued added tax. As of right now, March 25th, 2023 in the United States. Should be a big red flag for you if your vendor starts discussing that here in the United States. And last but not least is these scammers are asking you to pay for all of this through PayPal friends and family. They're asking you to pay through PayPal friends and family because there is no purchase protection when you use PayPal friends and family. If you get scammed or suspect that you've been scammed and you've paid with your debit card or your credit card, you can work through your local bank, whoever you have your debit card through, or your credit card company to get that money back and inform them that you've been scammed. And that's really the right thing to do if you ever get scammed and you paid with your debit or your credit card, because then those banks and the credit card companies are gonna take action, they're gonna help you, and uh, you're gonna be working with another human that has some of your interests at least in mind uh, to make sure that you're not getting scammed. And they're also going to pay attention to how many people are getting scammed by these entities and take notice and, and work on placing some protections so that other people can't get scammed. When you pay through PayPal friends and family like these scammers are asking you to, you don't have any of that protection. Once you pay them, they are gone in the night and PayPal's not going to do anything about it. Your bank's not going to do anything about it. Unfortunately, you're stuck. And that's why these scammers are asking you to pay for this stuff through PayPal friends and family. If you are wanting to shop with a local craftsman or somebody that makes items for muzzleloading and you're talking to them you know, through a forum or through email or something or at a show and they say, hey, you can pay me through PayPal, goods and services or friends and family, you can do that, and, and that's fine if that's what you want to do, but really pay attention if you're wanting to order powder propellants, primers, and caps, and they're asking you to pay for PayPal friends and family. You really don't want to be doing that. It's against PayPal's terms of services, and if you're using PayPal friends and family through a transaction like I've outlined here, where they have all of these steps uh, that you're, they're making you jump through these hoops before you can get your order or they tell you that it's shipped, you want to pump the brakes and make sure that you're not getting scammed. Unfortunately, I'm able to bring you this detailed of an outline because somebody posted on the I Love Muzzleloading Facebook group exactly this that had happened to them, and they were scammed out of over $600 before they realized that they weren't going to get the items that they'd been paying for. So pay attention out there. You know, there's a ton of legitimate muzzleloading businesses out there that have been in business for decades. Shop from them. If you find a business out there, it's totally new, you've never heard of it, your friends have never heard of it, your local club members have never heard of it, maybe, maybe pump the brakes a little bit, do a little bit of research before you start sending money out there. We're seeing way too many folks get scammed out here looking for, for muzzleloading supplies when there are legitimate businesses out there that can supply you and, uh, and are gonna really take good care of you. Uh, there's a lot of family businesses, family owned businesses out there that really care about muzzleloading and, and wanna make sure that you get what you've ordered and get what you need to get out there and enjoy your muzzleloader. So pay attention out there, do a little research. Ilovemuzzleloading.com slash muzzleloading101 has a list of uh, some businesses and vendors to get started with. I encourage you to check them out. If you want your business to be featured there, uh, there's no charge or anything. I really just host that part of the website to point people to legitimate businesses that people can shop from uh, without worrying about getting scammed. So uh, check that out, talk to your friends, talk to your local club members, or you know, just like the guy I'm telling you about here did, reach out um, to the Facebook groups and the forums out there to make sure that you're not getting scammed before you place an order with a new vendor. I hope this is helpful. Like I said, really just trying to do a little bit of uh, PSA here. Um, but as always, if you have any questions, shoot me an email at ilovemuzzleloading at gmail.com. I'm Ethan, I love muzzleloading. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.